Hey guys, Brad with Double Tap here. Wanted to show you guys another one of my recent builds here. This is my SPR build, or my attempt at one anyways. <clears throat> the receivers and handguard are Aero Precision, FDE, M4E1. So this was actually the first build that I ever started. Um, and I wanted to do some blingy stuff. I wanted to get all chrome accessories that you could, you know, see with the, the naked eye. Um, and so the ones I did put in here, um, they're either uh, bare aluminum like the magazine there, <clears throat> chrome, stainless steel, or nickel boron. Um, this is an 18-inch... Wilson Combat, match barrel, fluted. I have a three port brake up here, which is also compatible with my Rugged Radiant 762 suppressor. M-Lock handguard. We have a, oh man. Actually the grip on that, that's an HK grip. I was trying, gonna try and build an MR556, but um, then I quickly found out it was like gonna cost me three grand. So I have a couple little parts and that's it. But that handguard, or excuse me, the pistol grip looked great. So, um, <clears throat> so let's see. The uh, vertical grip here is A3 Tactical. Love these vertical grips, man. If you guys haven't tried these, I'm telling you, they are fantastic. And this one is, um, I think it's a medium length grenade grip. It's got the hand stop. And uh, one of the things that will actually happen here with this bipod, uh, excuse me, bipod, bipod, is that um, it'll fold right around that. And you can actually still use the grip while this is folded in. And it looks badass. <clears throat> I only have one hand here, so I might try and do it at the end. But uh, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> so the trigger, ALG, ACT, Advanced Combat Trigger. I mean... You know, the difference between this trigger and a match one, and I realize, you know, this is just my opinion, um, and I have not used a ton of match triggers, although I have used some. I mean, it's, you know, you get depreciating, you know, results, right, when you get in that high level. But anyways, it, I think they're really clean and crisp triggers, and you're, I mean, for under 100 bucks, um, you know, I don't think you can beat it. I do have a nickel bore on. Um... Buffer tube, castle nut, plate back there. Um, at the front there, I do have a, superl a superlative arms uh, bleed off gas system. Now this one says um, 0.625, but I think this is, uh, I think it's actually uh, 0.75. This is just the one I had laying around here. Love the barrel, super good looking. I don't know if you can see it on there. I'll try and focus, but, um, oh, it's upside down. So it's a one and eight twist. Get the Wilson Combat. So, I mean, it's a really good looking barrel. Um, <clears throat> one and eight twist. You know, so the original SPRs came in a one and seven for the heavier uh, pills. But, <clears throat> uh, I mean, the cheapest ammo you can get, you know, around where I live is, you know, usually the uh, Winchester 55 grain. And so um, it just made sense for me to just go with one and eight. You get a wider variety of ammunition to, you can put down this thing and it'll uh, you know, maintain its accuracy. Um, I do have a B5 SOP Mod Bravo. Now this is eventually going to go on an SBR that I'm working on. Well, actually, I'm going to SBR the pistol that I showed in one of my previous builds. That's my, uh, my newest custom build it's over the suppressor build um i'm gonna eventually put that on there and i'm gonna replace this with maybe a um magpul prs light i believe that's what it's called i just came out with it recently i showed it off at shot show i think and then um not uh, last but certainly not least is the acss one let's see slx one to six uh one to six silver series uh acss reticle illuminated and i mean this is pretty much the best buy for the money and you know that's not to uh diminish the quality at all by saying that i mean this is a high quality optic 
you know, like I said, you get diminishing returns when you get into like, you know, the upper end of what you can buy for in terms of accessories and all that. Um, I haven't shot this yet. I had surgery on my chest not long ago and um, on the right side and I'm a righty. So it just doesn't make sense for me to push it. I am getting close and I was going to go today, but I, I uh, decided that probably was not a good idea. <clears throat> just give you guys a better angle. I'm not going to go any longer. Uh, not much longer. I'm just going to give you some better views. Apologize that this phone has a crappy camera, but I am going to be working on that. You know, as long as uh, people continue to like these videos and and whatnot. I don't have a dust cover on there, and you can see I tried to put. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, some scratches there. I tried to put one on, and uh, for whatever reason, the aftermarket one I had was not fitting properly, or that, or I was doing it wrong. But I don't think so. Um, the old design. Uh, for the AR dust covers, it's like, you know, it's a pain in the butt. If you've ever done it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and the way to go is really there's like a Strike Industries or uh, the Mag new Magpul covers that are just um, plug and play, basically. It just snaps right on. Uh, so we'll see what I'm doing with that. But it does show off the uh, Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Group which uh, very well, which I, and I like. So, And uh, the only reason I didn't throw the suppressor on for this video is because... It's under the handguard of my last build, and I was too lazy to pull it out of there. And that's going to be the gun that I, um, well, actually, that gun and this one are going to go to the range with me uh, sometime in the next few days, perhaps a week. I'm going to try and get some footage uh, of me at the range. We'll see how that works. Have never tried that before. Um, I do obviously have regular magazines. Um, I can't tell if I like it, you know, with the bling or if it looks cheesy, but, you know, I was just messing around playing with stuff, so. And it sort of does match the barrel, which I, I think is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> but I might end up changing that stuff to black or, you know. When you build so many rifles and they're all black, you do start wanting to play around with other stuff, so. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please, please, if you can, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help me out. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to do this thing, man, with the videos and, and just, you know, bring some happiness and some knowledge to you guys and just kind of show you different, different builds and different guns. I have quite a few guns that I'll be showing off in the near future, so please stay tuned. Brad with Double Top.